summer is upon us here in Texas, which means sun, rising temps, and quiet afternoons spent lounging by the pool. Well, for some anyway. For me, summer means I have to spend more time maintaining the Rube Goldberg machine that is the modern residential pool system. One part of the system that I have to keep a close eye on every year is the DE filter pump that runs for about six to eight hours per day in the summer. Now, DE filters help keep your pool clear and clean by cycling the water through a set of grids coated with diatomaceous earth powder. That's dinosaur bones, kids. The key factor in the performance of the filter is the water pressure when active. And on my filter, the pressure is always visible through an analog pressure dial on top of the filter basket. If the water is flowing through between 15 and 25 PSI, the filter will do its job and the pool will look nice. If it's too low, like 5 to 14, or too high, over 26 PSI, well... In the past, I've kept tabs on the filter by checking in on it every day and intervening if it's too low or too high. But in my constant quest to IoT enable everything in my home, I decided it was time to bring technology to bear. But there's a catch. Rather than putting an electronic pressure meter in line with my existing system, I was inspired by my friend Pete Warden to solve this problem with machine learning and pursue the ultimate retrofit. So I created a tank monitoring solution with a Raspberry Pi, a camera module, some TinyML, Edge Impulse, and the Blues wireless note card. With these tools, I was able to add smarts to my DE filter without touching it. The first thing I did was get the hardware set up for data collection. I mounted my Pi and camera module in a waterproof case and put it on a tripod. I also connected a power supply from my house to the Pi. The final project was deployed with battery and solar power, but since I knew I would be taking lots of photos while building my ML model, I figured mains is the way to go. Next up was the data collection and model training with Edge Impulse. I connected my Pi to Edge Impulse using the CLI, and then used Edge Impulse Studio to capture and label about 250 images of my tank gauge, making sure to get a ton of photos of the gauge in the off, low, normal, and high positions. With the dataset in hand, I created, tested, and fine-tuned my image classification model. After doing some online and local tests, I grabbed a few hundred more photos and kept testing. The final result was a pretty accurate model. From there, I added the note card, pie juice hat, and solar to my project and deployed it back outside. While I used Wi-Fi through a tethered device on the Pi for data collection, that's not feasible for deployment, which is where the note card comes in. As a no-fees, developer-friendly cellular data pump, it was perfect for my application. On the Pi itself, I created a Python application that turns on the camera each hour, runs an image through the image classification model, and sends the inferencing result to the note card. If the model detects low or high pressure, it also sends an alert message, which I then route from NoteHub to the Twilio messaging API. The end result? When the DE filter needs to be serviced, I get a text. How very modern. This was a fun project, and with tools like Edge Impulse, the note card, and Twilio, I was able to go from an idea to a working prototype in just a few days. To check out the full project walkthrough on Hackster, or learn more about the tools I used to create this project, click the link below in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see your notable creations.